Hello there, this is an informedtrades.com introduction to the Chaikin Volatility Indicator. The indicator was developed by Mark Chaikin, an early proponent of using computers for market analysis. He's most noted for creating the accumulation distribution line indicator, which uses similar math to this volatility indicator. Uh, the indicator quantifies volatility as a widening of the range between high and low prices. It's useful for identifying and anticipating price tops and bottoms since market volatility often follows identifiable patterns in those times. Chaikin's uh, volatility indicator is not intended to be used alone. It's, it's best used alongside a, a moving average system or price envelopes. The indicator can be interpreted in a number of ways. Um, on a basic level, a sharp increase in volatility is characteristic of price topouts, where the increasing volatility corresponds to the petering out of, of a trend into a trading range. Uh, conversely, decreased volatility is typical of market bottoms with little activities where sell-offs are winding down. Uh, Chaikin identifies two further signals uh, for using the indicator to make predictions. First, he says that when the indicator increases over a short period of time during a downtrend, the bottom is near. Second, he suggests that a gradual decrease over a long period suggests that the top of the market is approaching as the trend winds down. A few other noteworthy signals. Um, peaks in the indicator may precede a roll away from a new high price. Um, and the same is true of the opposite. A sharp decline implies that interest is slowing and may precede a reversal of price direction. It's also worthwhile to note that price breakouts from the trading range do not register immediately as increased volatility in, until the price rises above the, the recent high within the selected period range. So the indicator can be slow to identify emerging trends. In order to calculate the Chaikin volatility index, uh, First, you calculate an exponential moving average. Uh, Chaikin recommends 10 days for the period, but Forex sets it automatically to 14. Uh, and this average is charting the difference between the prices high and low in each period. So with this exponential moving average, you calculate the percentage of change over a further period uh, in this equation, it's 10 days. So that's the exponential moving average of the high minus the low minus the exponential moving average of the high minus the low 10 days earlier uh, divided by the exponential moving average of the high minus the low 10 days ago times 100 to get the percentage Chaikin volatility. Here we have an example from Forex where we can consider the indicator in action. Uh, and true to the aforementioned signals, uh, volatility increases sharply towards the end of the first two trends shown, the shorter-lived one in December and then in late January, uh, signaling a transition from a trend to a trading range. Uh, in both cases, the the sharp increase is preceded by a low volatility reading, which is typical of bottomed out markets. Uh, the downtrend in February iterates Chaikin's suggestion that a rapid increase in volatility during a downtrend precedes a price bottom. And finally, the gradual increase in volatility from early May to the end of June effectively predicts the, the winding down of the trend. All right, this has been an introduction to using the Chaikin Volatility Index. If you've got any questions or knowledge to share, come join us in our learning community at informedtrades.com. Thanks for watching, and good luck in your trading.